you might be thinking that how can I come up with so many different combinations? And how can I even solve this problem with a very good time complexity? The interesting part about this problem is that it is just an extension of the original problem threesome. And yes, that is why it is asked in a lot of coding interviews. So let us see how we can simplify the original problem and come up with a very innovative solution to this one. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. First, I will explain the problem statement and we will look at some sample test cases. Going forward, I will tell you how you can literally translate this problem to the threesome problem and then use a very small trick to arrive at an efficient solution. After that, as usual, we will also do a dry run of the code so that you can understand and visualize how all of this is actually working in action. Without further ado, let's get started. First of all, let's make sure that we are understanding the problem statement correctly. In this problem, you are given an array of integers and then you have to find three integers such that their sum is closest to a target value, right? And then once you find these integers, you need to return their sum, correct? So let us understand it better with the example test case. And also I have this number line here with me that will help to visualize things even better. So in my first test case, I have an array that has four integers and my target value is one, correct? Now, since you have to pick three integers, you can pick them in a lot of different ways, correct? For example, in this particular problem, you can pick these three integers in these four ways, right? And when you sum them, these are the respective sums that you will get, right? As per the problem statement, you have to find those three integers whose sum is closest to this target value. So to find how close this is to the target value, you can look up these numbers on the number line. For example, when you look minus three and one, where do they lie? So this is minus three and this is one. So what is the difference between them? That is a difference of four, right? When you look at minus four and one, what is the difference? Here is minus four and here is one. The difference will be five. Similarly, minus one and one will have a difference of two. And then similarly, you will find the minimum difference with the elements two and one. You can look them up over here. So this difference is one, right? So now you found that, okay, these are the three integers that have the sum closest to my target value. And what should be your answer? Your answer should be two because you have to return the sum. So for first test case, two will be your answer. Similarly, let us look at our second test case. You have an array that only has three integers and all of them are zero, right? So this is the only triplet you can find. And what is their sum? That will be zero itself, right? And since there is no other combination, this will be the sum that you have to return because you do not have anything to compare it with. So for test case number two, this zero will be your answer because this is the sum of all of these three integers, right? So now if you feel that you have understood the problem statement even better, feel free to first try it out on your own. Otherwise, let us dive into the solution. Let us say you have the sample array in front of you, correct? And this is the target value for for which you have to find me the closest three integers, correct? You know that a brute force method will not be a good one because what will you do? You will try to pick up all of these elements one by one. First, you will pick minus one, then zero, then one, then you will do minus one, then zero, then two. And then you will keep on doing all of these different combinations, right? And this will end up wasting so much time. And certainly the time complexity you're gonna get is order of n to power three. And that is not what you desire. So certainly we need to come up with something more efficient. To start thinking about an efficient solution, first of all, you need to understand that this problem is just a very minor variation of the original problem threesum. So if you're new to that, I would highly recommend you to stop this video right over here and first check out the original problem. You can find the link in the description below. You will be very, very surprised how similar this problem is. Just doing a quick recap, how was the original problem threesome? You were given an array and then you had to find the triplets such that when you add them up, the target value becomes zero, correct? So now try to think what is happening in this problem. In this problem, instead of the target value zero, you just have a target element that is four, right? So what you can do over here, you can apply the same approach to find those triplets, which are closest to this target value four, right? And once you're going through this entire loop, 
just keep a track of the cloves difference that you find and once you have traversed your entire array you can know the minimum difference and the sum of those three integers that gave that right that sum will be your resultant answer correct let me show you real quick how you can achieve that we will try to recollect what was happening in the original problem 3 sum and see how this problem is very very similar so once again i have a sample array with me and i have a target value correct if you remember what was the first thing that we did first thing that we did was we sorted the array as soon as you sort the array your array starts to look something like this and then what did we do we fixed the first element and then we got a separate array and out of this array you just need to find the two integers by which you can achieve the target value right and that is exactly what we're going to do over here so i fix my first number that is minus 4 right and what is the array that i am remaining with i am remaining with this array correct so i get this array and i will use the same two pointer approach to find a triplet so while you are iterating through this entire array what will happen you will start to get all of these triplets right so you will get minus 4 and then maybe you get minus 1 and then you get a 2 similarly you will get more triplets minus 4 plus minus 1 plus 0 so you see that you are getting all of these triplets but minus 4 is fixed and with all of these triplets you will also get a certain sum associated right just keep a track of all of these sums that you get and at the same time what you can do is keep a track of the difference of all of these sums from the target value you need to find the closest sum right so whatever sum is the closest to this target value that is your possible result right so while traversing through the entire array just store this minimum difference and also store the total sum that you are getting so now you're done with four correct next what you can do is you can fix this minus one element so if you remember the same way in three sum we fix our minus one now and what is the array that i'm remaining with i am remaining with this array of four elements right so once again you will start getting all of these combinations minus one plus zero plus one and so on you get the idea right once again you will get the sum of all of these elements and then compare it with this target value just keep a track of the minimum sum that you are getting and at the very end that will be your answer you will keep on iterating and this time you will fix minus one so you get a remainder array as zero one two move ahead once again you fix zero and then you get a remainder array as one and two so when you're done traversing the array you know that you will have traversed all the possible triplets and then you can identify that okay these are the three integers which when summed up are closest to my target value right just store that and you can just return this as your answer so once again you know positively and confidently that the time complexity will be just order of n square and you cannot get better than this now let us quickly do a dry run of the code and see how it works in action on the left side of your screen you have the actual code to implement this solution and on the right once again i have a sample array and a target value that are passed in as an input parameter to the function three sum closest oh and by the way this complete code and its test cases are also available on my github profile you can find the link in the description below moving ahead with a dry run if you remember what is the first thing that we do in three sum first of all we sort our array right so we do the same thing again and after sorting my array looks something like this correct after that you need to keep a track of the sum of integers that you are getting right and based upon the minimum difference you have to return this sum and you also need to keep a track of the minimum difference that you are getting because with this minimum difference you can track how close you are to the target value right so right now i initialize these values for the result sum i just take up the first three values and for the minimum difference i take the maximum value of integer after this just look at this for loop this for loop is exactly the same as the three sum approach what did we do we fixed the first integer and then we iterated through the remaining array right and we were using the concept of a left pointer and a right pointer correct so use the same approach again to identify three integers one that you have fixed one is a left pointer and one is a right pointer this gives you one triplet correct so get its sum you get the sum over here and now what you have to do is 
just compare this sum to the target value. If the sum equals to target value, then you know that the closest difference will be zero itself. So you can simply return it. Otherwise, if the sum is less than the target value, you do left plus plus or you will do right minus minus. So your four is fixed, right? So either you will move your left pointer one step ahead or you will move your right pointer one step backwards, correct? So based upon this, you will be able to iterate over every triplet in the array. And now you can see that you're also getting the sum at every instant. So this is the crux where the magic happens. So you can identify the difference to the target value. Just get a absolute value because you are having integers and numbers could be either negative or positive. If your difference is less than the previous difference, you just need to update both your difference and the result sum. So once this loop completes, you, what you can do is just return this result sum as your answer. And as you know before, the time complexity of this solution will be order of n square. The space complexity of this solution is order of n because we do not take any extra space. I hope I was able to simplify the problem and its solution for you. As per my final thoughts, I just want to say that this is one of those problems which become very, very simple once you have solved the base problem. That is three sum, correct? We were able to apply the exact same logic. So this is one of those scenarios where solving a lot of different kinds of problems comes in very, very handy. Think about it. If you're just going for the concepts, then you might miss problems like these. But if you're solving good quality problems, and if you're solving problems which cover a broad array of topics, then you will understand that, hey, this problem can be translated into a simpler problem. And then it becomes very easy. You can now think about it, right? You can have many other different flavors and many other different variations of the same problem threesome, correct? So while going throughout this video, did you face any problems or have you found any other variations of the same problem? So tell me all of this in the comment section below and I would love to discuss all of them with you. As a reminder, if you found this video helpful, please do consider subscribing to my channel and share this video with your friends. This motivates me to make more and more such videos where I can simplify programming for you. Also, let me know what problems do you want me to solve next. Until then, see ya.